Good evening, everyone. This is Scott Shirey from Kip Delta Public Schools, the Executive Director. We're so honored that you are joining us this Sunday night. We're excited. We're seeing the uh, number of callers come through, so we're just going to wait uh, a minute or so before we dive in uh, as we see the callers increase. If you have any questions along the way about anything, press zero, and we'll do our best to answer your questions. Again, my name is Scott Shirey, the Executive Director of KIPP Delta Public Schools. Sitting with me is Amy Sharpentier, our KIPP Through College Director, as well as Todd Dixon, our High School Director. For the last uh, four years, our high school has been ranked in the top five of all high schools in Arkansas, and last year was the number one, number, excuse me, number two ranked uh, high school in the state of Arkansas. So, um, Again, if you have any questions, just dial zero and we'll do our best. But we're here to uh, tell a little bit about our story uh, and learn a little bit about you, and hopefully you can learn more about us. For those of you who have never heard of KIPP, KIPP stands for Knowledge is Power Program. We are, uh, it's a national network of open enrollment public charter schools. And here at KIPP Delta, we serve nearly 1,400 students. Uh, we have a K-12, pre-K-12 campus in Phillips County here in Helena, and then we have a 4-9 campus in Blytheville, which is growing out. This is their first year, and they've opened a uh, high school. Again, this is Kip Delta Public Schools, Scott Shirey, uh, Executive Director. Uh, we'd love to see questions come in, so press zero, uh, and we'll do our best to answer all those questions. We first opened in 2002, uh, and we have grown to nearly 1,400 students uh, today, serving students in Phillips County, Lee County, St. Francis County, and Mississippi County. So uh, we are a college preparatory program for uh, all students. About 90% of our students qualify for free and reduced lunch. Uh, and Actually, nationally, while only 10% of low-income students go to and through college, we have about 80% of our alumni persisting in colleges today. So again, press, press zero if you have questions, and uh, we'll, we'll do our best to get to all those. Sitting with me, for those of you who are just joining, uh, Todd Dixon is our High School Director here in Helena. Amy Sharpentier is our KIPP Through College Director. One of the unique things about KIPP Delta Public Schools uh, is our approach to college. We not only support students all the way through 12th grade, but on beyond uh, through college. Last year, our uh, graduating class earned $2.3 million in scholarships. Uh, so I'm actually going to turn it over to Amy to tell a little bit about the KIPP Through College program uh, while we're waiting for callers to continue to, to call in. Good evening. One of the neat things about the KIPP Through College program is that we start working with our students as early as middle school to think about how they can best prepare themselves for high school so that they have great access to college when they become seniors. In high school, we work with students to take them out to see colleges. We really push for them to attend summer programs that are either free or very low cost to families away at universities throughout the country. For example, this year we had students who went to Brown University, Georgetown University, Davidson College, and the University of Arkansas, and some students who did outdoor leadership programs out in Idaho. As students get to be juniors and seniors, they take a weekly seminar class with our college counselor where they learn about the admissions process and they also complete applications for college and financial aid. And in their final semester, we do a transition to college seminar where students learn about common problems and hangups they might encounter on the way to college so that if they do encounter them while they're in college, they have the support and know-how to make it through those challenges. And then we work with our students on a one-on-one -on -one basis in a peer cohort model to make sure that our students are successful in college. In addition, we have 63 college partnerships that help ensure that our students um, can make it all the way through college. Great. For those of you just joining us, again, my name is Scott Shirey. I'm the Executive Director of KIPP Delta Public Schools. Sitting with me 
Amy Charpentier, our KIPP through College Director, and Todd Dixon, our KIPP Delta Collegiate High School Director. And last year, our high school was ranked number two in the state. I saw a question from uh, Walter and wanted to get to that. Uh, the question was, how are we funded? As a charter school, we are what we call an open enrollment public charter school, which means we are funded uh, the same way traditional schools are, uh, which is based on per pupil. The one thing where we don't receive funding is on, on facility dollars, so we have to raise money or take debt for our facilities. But again, we get the same federal funding and the same base state funding that traditional school systems receive. The other thing, a common question that people ask is, you know, how do you select our students? Again, as an open enrollment charter school, uh, there is no selectivity uh, selection criteria. Uh, we don't have any selectivity. Uh, it's a, simply a lottery system. So anyone who uh, is interested in signing up for KIPP Delta Public Schools can just basically fill out the information and then we uh, conduct a lottery. Uh, so this year, uh, actually last year, about 8% of our students were qualified for special needs, and we have about this year 90% of our students who qualify for free or reduced lunch. Um, so we've had students come in uh, literally who, at fifth grade, who don't know how to read, and we've come, we've had kids who have taken algebra in sixth grade and are taking calculus BC as juniors and seniors. So there's quite the range. We are, we are a public school. If you have questions, feel free to uh, press zero and we'll do, we'll do our best. I see another question from uh, Pansy Burns. Uh, thank you for calling in. The, what are the chances or qualifications to get a school in Forest City? Uh, actually, there is a hearing uh, on, by, by the Charter Review Panel uh, on October 15th this week. Uh, they will make their recommendation, and that will go to the State Board in November. We do have a petition, so if you are enthusiastic about KIPP Delta coming to Forest City, go to www.kipdelta.org, and you can... Uh, click a link there that says help bring KIPP to Forest City. Uh, again, we don't ever want to uh, just take anything for granted, but we think uh, we have uh, a positive opportunity there to, to make an impact and, and hope the State Board sees it the same way. Uh, Gene Long from Blyville, thank you for sending a question in. I'm actually going to turn this over to Mr. Dixon, our high school director, and the question is what would benefit the student from being at KIPP as opposed to a traditional public school? Good evening. Part of our belief at KIPP Delta is that families should have choice in education, and by students and families choosing to attend KIPP Delta, they, they have the opportunity to exercise that choice. Some of the benefits of being at KIPP Delta are um, participation in uh, rigorous academics and character education. Uh, at KIPP, we have a tagline, work hard, be nice, and we believe that our KIPsters need to work hard so that they're well prepared for college and life and uh, learn nice and learn the character strengths to succeed in college and life as well. Additionally, we provide uh, a unique aspect of our program, our KIPP through college services, uh, where students from elementary through high school and then into and through college receive support from KIPP Delta Public Schools in order to make good decisions about colleges, receive support in applying to college, and receive support all the way through college to ensure that our students earn college degrees. Great. Thank you, Mr. Dixon. Again, nationally, only one in ten students from low-income communities actually make it all the way through college. Uh, so we're looking at pretty serious data, and in our own counties, we know the number of uh, adults with bachelors is below the national average, and that's something we directly want to impact. Uh, for those of you who are interested in taking a tour of our campus just to see how it might be different than a traditional public school, please press 1, and we'll make sure we reach out to set that up for you.
Again, if you have, uh, if anyone has questions, dial zero, and we'll be uh, we'll be glad to answer them the best we can. There's another one from uh, Gussie over in, uh, I believe, Gosnell, Arkansas. Will there ever be a preschool kit that we will then take through college? Just for a little history, we opened our doors in 2002 uh, in Helena, and with just a fifth grade. Now in Helena, we actually have pre-K three, so we have three-year-olds, and we go all the way through 12th. So in in Helena, we do have that capacity now. Uh, and in Blytheville, we we believe it's just a matter of time. One of the things that makes KIPP unique is we are working deliberately to craft the culture. Um, so we don't want to grow too fast because we want to make sure we have the right leadership capacity. So nationally, and all KIPP schools do this, they grow one year at a time to make sure we grow the culture with our students. Uh, so we're, um, we will definitely be bringing a, pre, a pre-K program to Blytheville over time. Now the question, Caprice, what is the premise behind the year-round schooling? Does it benefit children? Uh, what if you move to an area and want to enroll a student in KIPP? So I'll actually answer the third question first. Uh, if you move to an area and want to enroll a student in KIPP, uh, actually the easiest thing you can do is go to our website, kipdelta.org, and click Enroll and, and do that. And if you have more questions or want to learn more about how you can enroll a student, press 1, and we'll be able to uh, connect you with someone who can answer that question. Uh, I will turn it over to Amy Sharpentier, our KIPP through College Director, though, to talk about the premise behind an advantage of year-round uh, schooling and how it benefits children. So I think one of the ideas behind year-round schooling is that students who come from wealthier families often have access to learning throughout the year, um, particularly because they have access to expensive and pricey summer programs where they're pushed to try new activities, to become scientists and researchers, to learn more about sports. And we know those same opportunities don't exist for students in our communities. And we want to make sure that as students in wealthier communities are able to learn year round, so can our students. And so at the early grades, that looks a lot like being at school. But for our older students, that often means taking extended field trips to the University of Arkansas to spend a week. Um, it also means doing other projects in the community. Great, thank you. Uh, another question that's come in from Elizabeth in Lee County. What is the impetus for KIPP to go to Forest City? Uh, and it says Lee County seems to have a greater, a greater need. Uh, what we really believe in is in choice, uh, and our dedication is to make sure that uh, not that every student has to attend KIPP Delta or should attend KIPP Delta, but everyone has uh, an equal choice. Uh, Forest City now, we serve 66 students from Forest City who are getting on a bus uh, at uh, quite early in the morning, uh, just shy of 6 a.m., uh, and committing to a, over an hour bus ride uh, in the morning and another hour in the afternoon. Uh, again, uh, the Mariana distance is not quite as far, uh, so strategically we're looking at the, be the best place to put schools so we can uh, give the best amount of access to the most amount of kids. Um, so we, we love serving uh, students from Lee County and we want to continue to work with uh, Lee County and, 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 serve, and serve all children in the area or help uh, give all children in the area opportunities. If you have questions, please please dial zero and we'll do our best to take them all. My name is Scott Shirey. I'm the Executive Director with KIPP Delta Public Schools. Uh, sitting with me is Amy Sharpentier, our KIPP Through College Director, uh, and Todd Dixon, our High School Director. Uh, Ricky from Blyville just asked a question. Will Blyville have a football and or basketball team? Uh, what uh, we are, we do have a basketball team right now, uh, and we are currently trying to build a football program. So we're looking for a coach. Uh, we're actually just plowed a field and are letting some grass grow. So we're hopeful we'll have a program develop uh, in the next year or so. Our again, this is our founding year for our high school in Blyville. So we just have ninth graders, 
and we want to build that program over time. If you are a football coach or ha are interested in any other careers at KIPP Delta, please do press 1 now and you can learn more about career opportunities at uh, KIPP Delta. Uh, great question here, Mary. Do the students that are wealthy have a better opportunity to be enrolled in KIPP? The answer on that is uh, absolutely not. Uh, we have a lottery system uh, where every child has an equal opportunity. Uh, we are 90% free and reduced, so we certainly mirror the demographics of the counties we serve. Uh, and that number has stayed very consistent. We've stayed about 87 to 90% free and reduced over the last 13 uh, years that we've been in existence. So we've, we've consistently serve children who need us. Uh, and, and on the flip side, you know, just because you do have access to resources doesn't mean you won't get in. It's a, a blind and fair lottery system. Again, this is Scott Shirey, the Kip Delta Public Schools. We're so glad you joined us on this Sunday evening. Sitting with me is Amy Sharpentier, Kip Through College Director, and Todd Dixon, our high school director. Our high school was ranked number two in the state last year. Uh, and we're answering questions today. If you have any questions, just dial zero, and we'll do our best to get it in to get it in the queue. Uh, and we'll go to the next one. Does Kip work with dyslexic children? And I'll turn that over to Todd Dixon, our uh, our high school director, and that is from Ola. Hi, this is Todd Dixon, school director at Kip Delta Collegiate High School in Helena, West Helena, Arkansas. KIPP Delta does provide a full spectrum uh, special education services for students with special needs. Um, we, we enroll uh, just under 10% of our student body um, that, that participate uh, in our special, special education program. And uh, we do have teachers who are trained in, in programs to support students with all sorts of uh, different special needs. Great. Thank you, uh, Todd. Uh, see some questions around re-enrolling students or uh, learning more about how to enroll your student. If you are interested in how to how you can enroll or re-enroll your student, go ahead and press one, and we'll make sure we uh, get you that get you that information. I see another question here from Bob and Helena. It says, "How does Kip select their teachers?" And again, I will send that over to Mr. Dixon, our high school director. I'd first off start by saying if you're interested in applying for a job at KIPP Delta, you can visit our website, www.kippdelta.org, and learn more about careers at KIPP Delta. Uh, KIPP Delta is always looking for highly qualified staff as teachers, leaders, and in operations. And we uh, look for teachers that are uh, committed to the mission of KIPP Delta, of seeing our students to and through college. Uh, who are going to work hard and be nice, show those character values that we expect of our students, have what we, uh, we talk about as a growth mindset, people that believe that our students can grow as individuals and uh, who look, we, who they themselves as teachers are able to, to grow and develop in their jobs. Those are some of the key things we look for in teachers. And again, if you're interested in a position at KIPP Delta, I'd encourage you to go to kipdelta.org. You can also press uh, press one now, and we'll connect you with someone who can give you more information on that. I see uh, a bunch of questions, which I'll I'll loop through. I believe it's Leotis. Uh, it says, "Is it 100% guarantee that opening a new charter school will help our students read more and learn more?" I don't ever believe in 100% guarantees, but uh, I think this is as good as a bet as as any. When you look at our history of results. Again, our high school is ranked number two. Uh, we've been a blue ribbon school in the state of Arkansas. And then this next question from Stephanie, what percentage of KIPP students graduate from college? Right now we have 80% of our students, 80% uh, uh, of our alumni persisting in college. Again, the national numbers, 10% of low income kids graduate from college. Uh, in the state of Arkansas, the six year graduation rate for African Americans is 22%. Um, so uh, we look like we're exceeding national averages, we're exceeding state averages across all demographics. Uh, and the question that I'm going to throw to 
our Kip Through College director, Amy Charpentier, to talk more about why kids are successful in college, and then also to answer Angie's question, how do you evaluate character? What is the basis for determining good versus not good character? Uh, Amy, do you want to talk more about that? Sure. So one of the ways that we ensure that our students are going to graduate from school is making sure that we work with them after they graduate to overcome the hurdles that many first-generation students encounter, most specifically um, the social barriers they encounter when they go to school because they're used to being with a tight-knit community. And then secondly, we work with them most thoroughly on financial aid to ensure that they can continue to afford the cost of college since that is the number one barrier. And then we also provide family support to ensure that our families are well educated on what it takes to get through college. Um, when we think about character, we know there are various character traits that allow our students to do better. And so I don't think we would say there's good character or bad character, but there are traits of character that we want our students to work on. The one we know is most important for kids in college is grit. Do you have what it takes to overcome challenges when you face them? And so we start with kids very early on in elementary school, identifying with them what it takes and what it means to overcome challenges with students so that as they encounter challenges, we can give them feedback and push them to do it in ways in which they'll be successful. Great. Uh, thank you for that. And again, if you're interested in visiting our schools or taking a tour, uh, you can go ahead and press, uh, press 1 now and we'll make sure we get you taken care of and you can learn more about how we teach character uh, and just by coming to visit us. Let's move to some more questions. Just a reminder that if you press zero at any time during this phone call, you will uh, be uh, able to get a question in. We'll do our best to answer all of them. A uh, quick one here, website for the petition for KIPP to be in for a city. Uh, and that if you go to www.kipdelta.org, there is a link that says help bring KIPP to Forest City. So click on that link and we would love to have you sign that petition. Uh, the other question is if a family member attends KIPP, is it a better chance for a sibling to get in as well? Under uh, our charter law, we do have sibling preference. So the answer to that is yes. If you have a child already enrolled one year, the next year, your child will automatically get pre your children will automatically get preference in the lottery. Uh, so we always encourage families. You know, if you've got three or four kids and only one child gets accepted, go ahead and put them in because the next year they'll they'll have a better shot with sibling preference. Uh, question here from Joe: What about the Hughes school system? Will it be combined with Four City? Will Hughes be able to enroll? Uh, can't answer about Forest City because um, that decision is out of our hands, but as in an open enrollment charter school, we actually can take students from, from anywhere uh, in the state of Arkansas as long as they have an, an address. Now, we can't guarantee transportation to everywhere, but we run over 1,000 miles a day to serve students. We believe strongly that students who live in the most remote and rural areas of Arkansas have a a right to a good education. So we certainly would be interested in running a bus to Hughes if we are fortunate enough to open in, in Forest City and, and would love to serve students from that community. Uh, another question here, is there anything Christian in your curriculum? Does anything honor God? Uh, again, Kip Delta Public Schools, is a we are a public school and therefore we fall under the, uh, the same uh, the same regulations that any public school does in, in terms of separation of state and church. That being said, uh, we have a number of our committed staff members who go to church in our community, go to church with our students, uh, and interact with students beyond beyond the the school walls to make sure that uh, we're raising children or to help raising children to be to be great uh, moral people as they as they get older. Uh, another question coming in, uh, we've seen this a number of times, how are students selected to go to KIPP? Again, that's lottery. And if you go to question, if you press 1 now, you can find out more about how to enroll a child. We are 90% free and reduced. Uh, we have been the last 13 years. We've had some of the highest performing results in the state. 80% of our alumni 
uh, who have graduated high school are persisting in college right now compared to a 10% national low income average and our high school last year was ranked number two in the state. If you have questions, press zero. I'm sitting with Todd Dixon, our high school director, and Amy Charpentier, our uh, Kip Through College director. Uh, another question, does Kip have corporal punishment and do you have a performing arts program? And I'll turn that over to Todd Dixon. Hi, this is Todd Dixon. I'm the school director at Kip Delta Collegiate High in Helena, West Helena. Uh, Kip Delta does not use corporal punishment in our schools. Uh, we um, believe that, that uh, there are other ways of disciplining children that, that work effectively, and, and we do not use corporal punishment in our schools. We do have performing arts programs. Uh, we have drama and choir, band uh, as, as our key performing arts programs. Uh, we also have uh, after-school programs in dance, uh, step, uh, marching band, drumline, and other, other programs like that. We continue, and, and we have some different programs in Blyville. Uh, we have art programs, and we continue to add new programs every year as we, as we grow. One other thing to point out around the, the discipline is last year, Kip Delta actually had a 0% expulsion rate, and that's something we track and take very seriously. Uh, we we want to work with, work with families. Uh, and when you also look at suspensions and fights, those are things that are just uh, rarities on our campus. Um, so uh, clearly there are good ways to discipline, and, and we believe in, in structure and being strict will, will lead to results. Uh, again, this is Scott Shirey, Executive Director, Kip Delta Public Schools. If you have questions, press zero. Uh, we'll try to get to as many of them as possible. Uh, all questions that are about enrolling your child, uh, go to kipdelta.org, uh, and that's the you can click on a link that says enroll. I see one here about uh, if Kip Delta comes to Forest City, will it be open for 2015, 2016? That would be the idea. It would start with fifth grade and then add a grade every year. Uh, it would not open with kindergarten, but as soon as we find a great leader, we'd love to. Uh, put a kindergarten there as early as you know, 2016 or 2017. We'll just it's uh, it's around great great leadership. Uh, another question here from Sharon. Uh, being from a low income area, how do the children who are not computer literate or have a uh, how do the children who are not computer literate uh, or have a computer at home how are they taken care of and how do we provide services for them? Uh, well answer, uh, turn that over to Amy Sharpentier, our Kip Through College Director, to tackle that question. Good evening. Um, one of the great things about all of our Kip Delta schools is the computer labs that are available to our students during the day and after school. And then for some of our older kids, um, we use Chromebooks that students could take home to use. Uh, it depends on the school and it depends on the grade. But we make sure that students' education is never hindered by not having the right resources we make sure that we provide them for all students in our schools as they need them. Okay, so uh, thank you. Some other great questions coming in. Uh, one question here says, why is the Forest City School Board opposed to Kip Delta uh, coming into Forest City? I can't answer that question on their behalf. I, I think that um, one of the things that's been challenging in our communities is that we've all, in the four communities that we serve right now, Mississippi County, St. Francis County, Lee County, and Phillips County, have all been losing population over recent decades. Uh, and unfortunately, I think that that's a struggle. Uh, our belief is that we really need to do something different with how we provide education, which will attract people back to our community. So we hope in the long run that Kip Delta plays a role in reversing the uh, population decline that some of our communities are experiencing. And we've seen a lot of evidence of that where uh, families are staying because of Kip Delta or uh, moving. Uh, we've been able to attract talent. So we hope that the net gain to the community uh, will, will, be, will be strong. All right, other questions coming in. Uh, 
Is it true that KIPP is planning to expand to use West Side School in Helena? That's from Larry in Helena. One of the challenges as a charter school is that we don't receive any public school funding uh, for facilities. So while we get the same per pupil allocation as traditional schools, we do not receive um, we do not receive any facility fundings, nor do we have access to traditional facilities. So uh, anything that we build, we have some modular campuses, uh, and then we do have some permanent structures, but that's been uh, through philanthropic gifts or through debt. Uh, recently in Blytheville, we've been very excited that the uh, local school system had an empty building, and they were able to, at Central Elementary, for those of you from Mississippi County. Um, they did an appraisal on it. We offered them the appraised value. It's a big win-win for the community. We think there are opportunities like that in Helena, although uh, none of them have come to fruition yet. Again, this is Scott Shirey with Kip Delta Public Schools. Thank you for joining us this Sunday evening. Uh, we have Amy Sharpentier, our Kip Through College Director, and Todd Dixon, our High School Director. Please press zero if you have any questions, and we'll do our best to get to them all. You can also go to kipdelta.org if you need uh, if you need any information. Let's go down down the line. Uh, Joseph from Osceola, why do you have to wait until the next year to enroll a student, ninth grade caller? And I'll let our high school director tackle that one. Great question. Thank you for calling in and asking. Uh, KIPP Delta is an open enrollment public charter school in operating campuses in Helena, West Helena, and Blytheville. The Helena, West Helena campuses serve students in pre-K 3 through 12th grade and in Blytheville in 4th through 9th grade. Enrollment at our schools works through a lottery system. We conduct our lottery on June 1st of each year and names that have been entered into the lottery are polled at random on June 1st, and we create a waiting list uh, from, that, from that list. As spots become open at our school, um, because families move or, or, or leave the school, uh, we are able to enroll additional students. We do have constraints as to the number of students we can enroll due to facility size, and uh, that, that, that may be what the, the caller here is referencing, um, where, where a certain grade level is full and we're not able to enroll another student. We do, though, actively enroll students throughout the school year, and um, it, is, it is not a, a once-a-year enrollment process. Depending on our uh, grade levels and, and, again, limits on facility, we do have waiting lists. Uh, if you are interested in learning more on how to enroll a child, please go ahead and press 1 now and we'll make sure we get your information and, and contact you. Uh, and again, as if students move out of the area and, and seats open up, we do fill those seats throughout the year. Another question here uh, around uh, student enrollment is uh, one from uh, Lee County here. How are students selected to go to KIPP? Students say that they get called to go to KIPP if they score high on the state test but students who score low are not contacted. When we first opened in 2002, we tested all the students after they were enrolled, and it turned out uh, that on average, our entering students were at the 18th percentile in mathematics and the 17th percentile in language. There's actually uh, no evidence to suggest that KIPP Delta is taking uh, only the bright students. Uh, and I just have an issue with that terminology anyway because we believe all students have uh, great talents, um, and we've had some of our most successful students uh, come through our special education program, uh, or students who have had very little support at home go off and, and be successful in college. The last point I'll make about this is uh, test data uh, is and should be restricted. We don't have access to students' test data until they've decided to Enroll. So there's, there's no way we would be able to get that information unless the uh, local school districts were giving it to us, and then they shouldn't be doing that. But again, we've done studies by this. If you go to KIPP.org, there's a study by, uh, by Mathematica, a national study, which sort of definitively answers the question uh, that KIPP Delta uh, does not, or and, uh, KIPP schools around the country, do serve the students who need us, need us most. 
Again, thank you for joining us this Sunday evening. We're really glad so many of you are on the on the call right now. My name is Scott Shirey. I'm the executive director of KIPP Delta Public Schools. Amy Charpentier, our KIPP Through College director, is here, and Todd Dixon, our high school director. And last year, KIPP Delta Collegiate High School is ranked number two in the state of Arkansas. Uh, some other questions here. Uh, are students from Monroe County able to apply to KIPP? Uh, Great, and that's uh, from someone in Lee County. The answer to that is yes. Uh, right now, we we trans all you need to enroll in Kip Delta is an Arkansas uh, an Arkansas address. Uh, the big limitation is transportation. While we do run over a thousand miles a day uh, to make sure we are reaching as many students as we can, in Helena we go as far south as. Really, we go down to uh, Lakeview, Elaine. We go head out uh, to Marvel. Uh, we run to Mariana. We run to Forest City. In Blytheville, we run buses down to Osceola. So if you're in Monroe County, uh, if there were enough students in a particular area, we'd consider running a bus out there. If not, uh, a student would just have to get transported to the closest bus stop or, or the school. Again, transportation becomes the barrier. But we, we do everything we can to extend our bus system as far as far as we can. Uh, again, some other uh, questions coming in. Some people may have joined the call. We've answered, are you considering a football team? Well, actually a different question. Are we considering a football team in Helena for the high school? I'll put Mr. Dixon on the hot seat for that one. When are we getting a football team, Mr. Dixon? Uh, KIPP Delta works very hard to ensure that we have great opportunities for all of our students. Uh, opportunities both in the classroom and, and outside of the classroom. We have a robust arts program at our Helena West Helena campuses, uh, performing arts including vocal music, uh, instrumental music, drama, uh, visual arts, and um, robust athletics as well. Uh, currently we do offer volleyball, cross country, basketball, track, and softball programs. And we would love at some point in the near future to offer a football program. Uh, I can't commit to a specific uh, start date for that, for that football program. One of, our, one of our challenges as a charter school in Arkansas is that we don't have access to state facilities funding. And uh, in order to build a football field, it's, it's a significant cost to Kip Delta, and we would, we would um, need a good deal of support to, to build a field and start a program. But just to give Mr. Dixon a little nudge, if there's someone who's got a good field space and some recommendations for a coach, we'd love to entertain the option as, as soon as possible. Uh, if you are uh, interested in touring our campus, uh, we would love for you to press question one. We'd love to have you on uh, press button one. We'd love to have you on the campus uh, if you are interested in taking a tour and, and learning more. A couple other questions we see that have come through. Lenora, how do you select special education students if the other students are selected based on scores? Let me just reiterate this point. Student, we are an open enrollment lottery. Uh, in fact, in the past we've had third parties conduct our lottery to ensure that's fair. The, the way to enroll a child is simply by signing their name. We don't look at any test scores. We do not screen our students. And there's a preponderance of research out there uh, which suggests KIPP Delta and proves that KIPP Delta does not just take top performing students. Um, and we have many examples. And in fact, if you talk to our students and, uh, themselves, they'll, they'll tell you. Uh, and we, we had last year, we had a 0% expulsion rate across KIPP Delta. Uh, so special education students are selected selected the same way. We feel really good that uh, our special education population has increased in size. Um, we do have uh, full support services on that. We have occupational therapy, speech therapy. Uh, we have some one-to-one uh, -one ratios. So uh, hopefully that answered the question. Uh, Reba in Leachville says, what is KIPP Delta about? Where are the locations? So I can answer that one quickly. Uh, KIPP Delta is an open enrollment public charter school serving about 90% uh, students who are free and reduced uh, lunch and putting them on a 
path to college. KIPP is a national network. You can learn more about KIPP across the country at www.kipp.org or learn more about us at www.kippdelta.org. Uh, and then will KIPP Delta reach students in Mississippi County? Well, the other question was where is it? Uh, we Currently we have campuses in Helena, which is pre-K through 12th grade, and then we have a campus in Blyville, which is 4-9, and we'll be adding a grade every year to build out to 12th grade. Uh, so currently we are reaching students in, in Mississippi County, uh, and we're continuing to grow, grow that program. One of the other questions on this, is it year-round? Uh, we're not quite year-round, but we do, we do run three weeks in the summer. We have a Saturday program, and we do have extended school day, which is part of our success. Annette from uh, Forest City says, will students who are ADHD, ADD, behavior, behavior problems be able to attend this school? And I'll turn that over to Amy Sharpentier, our KIPP through college director, to answer that question. The answer is absolutely yes, that we enroll students who have ADD, ADHD, or other behavior pro problems. Um, we actually have been very successful in working with students who have struggled with behavioral issues in other schools because our teachers take time out to develop individual strategies for students, particularly students who have struggled behaviorally or with ADD. Um, for example, we have a young man who we work with to ensure that every day he's meeting the different tasks he needs to meet in order to be successful, and then the teacher checks in with him at breakfast, at lunch, and at the end of the school day to make sure that he's worked through each of the supports he needed throughout the day. Great. We'll be wrapping up uh, as we're coming to an end of our time here, but I do want to let people know a couple things. If you want to go learn anything more about KIPP Delta, you can go to www.kippdelta.org. Uh, we haven't worked this one in yet, but if you are interested in donating to KIPP Delta, go ahead and press one now. Uh, and I think we've answered the, the bulk of questions. We saw some repeat questions come through. Uh, if you're, again, we really appreciate everyone joining this Sunday evening to learn more about KIPP Delta Public Schools. Uh, and one last thing, we are hopeful that we will be able to open a school in Forest City. If you go to our website, kipdelta.org, and click the link that says uh, help uh, support us bring KIPP to Forest City. Um, that should take you to a petition page. We would love to have, we would love to have your support. And as a, as a final, as a final note, I just want to thank Todd Dixon, our high school director, Amy Sharpentier, our KIPP through college director for joining us. My name is Scott Shirey. I'm the executive director of KIPP Delta Public Schools. Uh, and last but not least, if you're interested in any more information on how to get involved with KIPP Delta, go ahead and press 1 now and we will, we will take care of you. Thank you all and have a wonderful evening and, and a, great, a great week.